What's up everybody, Chris here from Bold Canyon Outdoors and today I'm going to walk you through an older video that I have and this is a one person operation to take your hardtop off of your four door Jeep Wrangler. I'm going to show you the setup I use and kind of walk you through the process on how easy this can be. So come along with me, first things first, let's get those freedom panels taken off. With the freedom panels removed, it's time to take off the main part of the hardtop. And what I've done in here, you can see I've got two 2x4s. And if you look closely, I have eye hooks that are hanging ratchet straps from them. Now these aren't ratcheting ratchet straps, these are the sliding style. And I'll show you why we use those here in a minute, because this is a one person job. But what I did was I got two 2x4s and actually drilled through and countersunk some bolts. So those, those eye hooks on it are actually bolted all the way through. And then I lag bolted it into a stud in the ceiling. So, you know, climbed up into the crawl space, you know, set some studs, put them in, bolted them in. So I've got four lag bolts all the way through. And then I have two sets of bolted through eye hooks. So let's get the Jeep back in. I'll show you how easy this can be. Now this, this setup here, and the hardtop on a JKU is not that heavy. This even works on the big metal Jeep Commando hardtop that I have. So it's a real nice setup, definitely overbuilt and really easy to use and super cheap. So let's get the Jeep backed in. Okay, the Jeep is backed in under the ratchet strap lift assembly and we're ready to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this end, I'm gonna climb through the Jeep and hook them onto the hooks up there and they're gonna go down and inside the hardtop. We'll show you that in just a second. All right, here we are up top. So we just hook this in here. And then as you can see, you have where the hardtop sort of bows in because the freedom panels cover here. Uh, this strap is going to go right in this little nook, sitting flat uh, between the sport cage and the hardtop. And of course, there's gonna be another section of sport cage back there. So it's always, obviously you don't wanna get it underneath it because man, it's just not gonna take the top off. So we'll get these straps in and through and show it to you from the inside. So here's a little tip. When you feed it through, make sure you've got it flat all the way. And also keep the strap to the outside of this rubber stopper here. So it's right in this little nook right here. So got it laid flat. Just pull it through and let it drop down. And then we'll move to the inside and go over the second part of the sports cage. All right, so here we are on the inside. So we fed it through one side. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this is flat, come all the way to the back portion of the sport cage and do the same thing. And then it'll run out the back of the Jeep. So we'll feed that through, get both straps in, and then go to the back and show you how it lifts off. All right, got both straps in. As you can see, they're sitting flat across the front and rear of the sport cage. So let's move to the back. All right, so now these guys, we're gonna run right beside the rear hinge and up to the ratchet strap. So we'll show you how that goes straight up through the sliding ratchet strap. We can take out the slack zip it down. This is one of the advantages of not using the ratcheting ratchet strap. So once you've got the slack taken out, go back to the inside. See that strap is running on top of the sport cage all the way up and beside the hinge right here. So I'll get the other side done and we'll start pulling the top. Okay, so we've got both straps going under the top on top of the sport cages up to the sliding adjuster and got the slack taken out of them. So next, we want to come inside we're going to disconnect these two pieces here so this is your squirter for your rear windshield washer and then of course the power for the windshield wiper so the power is pretty simple it's got one of these little uh, sliding connectors on it slide it out 
right here and pull. And then I like to snap that little clip back in. Sorry about my finger in the way there. And then this is just a, a rubber hose. So I just disconnect it right there. Put these two behind the roll bar. And next up, we're gonna pull out three of these from each side, two from the front, and get rocking and rolling. Okay, so now we can start loosening these Torx bolts here. There we go. These shouldn't be super tight. Uh, in fact, when you put it back on, you're kind of using a shorter wrench and uh, um, kind of a two finger tight. You know, you don't want to over tighten them, crack the fiberglass, anything like that. We'll pop these guys out. And there's six of them that hold the base of the top. One, two, three, three more on the opposite side. And then there are two up front. We'll show you those guys. Right here is number seven and eight. So you never want to forget those guys. And now these, whoops, as I drop the wrench, no outtake reel, we can show all the footage. Um, so these guys here are actually one that you want to be careful of because it's got not a ton of strength right here in this little tab. So never over tighten them, never force it. You know, like I said, you, you, I've got a short wrench here and when I tighten them, it's like two finger tight. It's not super torqued down. You know, your top's not going anywhere. So we'll pop that guy out. There we go. I'm going to take out the remaining ones and we'll actually begin the lifting process and get the top off. got all eight of the top bolts off and here's a little secret squirrel tip for you that you may not know in your rear in your rear storage section there's actually spots for all the little bolts to go so there's my finger again we just pop them all in there and they are stored safely away from being lost or damaged so there's your little tip of the day. taken out, all the bolts removed from the top itself. Uh, the power and liquid are disconnected inside here. Now it's just a question of putting tension on here and pushing up on the window and getting it loose and up like so. So there's the first little lift. We'll come over to this side. We'll take the slack out and go up a little bit. And now you can kind of see the process. So it's a little bit of time left and right. We'll work it all the way up to the top. get to a point where the actual sliding uh, uh, connector is there so just be gentle and careful and just kind of work it underneath you'll also need to tilt your top a little as you go up so it goes up nice and even sits up against the ceiling just lift up gently as you go and now we've got the Ratchet connectors are cleared the rubber. So now we just go up the rest of the way to the ceiling and it's out of harm's way. All right, so now as you can see, it's almost all the way up. I don't have the glass touching or anything like that, but it sits up nice and high, level, and I can park underneath it with no issue at all. And that is where I will store it until the weather gets bad. So. That's it, super easy, inexpensive, 
and quick and a one person job. So, you know, you can go to the hardware store, get yourself eight lag bolts, four bolt through eye hooks, two two by fours, bolt it in yourself. You're gonna spend 30 or 40 bucks and be able to take it on and off by yourself in about 20 minutes. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. And do me a favor, hit that like and hit that subscribe down there. We really appreciate your support. I'll do my best to keep bringing you informative and fun and cool videos with all kinds of gear, exploring in the desert, and just having a good time. So for Bold Canyon Outdoors, this is Chris signing off. Happy trails, everybody.